All right, yeah, I'm gonna uh, go through this uh, Honda Insight cylinder head. Uh, just give you a walkthrough of kind of how things are laid out and some of the interesting features of it. Uh, this is from a one liter three cylinder. You can see it's a three cylinder. Um, so this has got a timing chain, which I've mostly disassembled already. <clears throat> here we've got, uh, as I talked about in the other video here, I've got the uh, single uh, intake valve open because the VTEC actuator uh, has an oil pressure. So uh, you get, uh, in normal operation, you get one intake valve open. I think this one, yeah, see this one is slightly cracked. See these other ones are still in the seat. So uh, it actually does open both of them. See this one's open. You can see that. You can see this one move. Uh, so most of the intake charge in at low RPM and lean burn uh, goes through the this intake valve. And uh, when this one's open and it's not in VTEC, this one just cracks off the seat just a tiny little bit. And I understand that's to prevent puddling of fuel behind it, you know, if you're not getting into VTEC ever and you just have uh, fuel coming in and you never open this valve, you could have a puddle in there and that obviously wouldn't be too good. So uh, we're on uh, intake stroke here, we're on uh, exhaust stroke here, you can see the tiny little uh, exhaust valves, uh, both those open even when you're not in VTEC. This one is uh, on a compression stroke. So this gives you a good idea of sort of how this operates. So when uh, this draws air in to this port here, the air will come in and it will come out this valve and it will start swirling around. And it swirls around and creates a, a, an area that's just rich enough when you're in lean burn, you know, you're at your 20, 20 to 1-ish uh, air fuel ratio, you've got enough turbulence in here and enough things going on that uh, that lean of a mixture can can be uh, lit off by this spark plug. So it, it swirls around and creates a, a richer uh, area in here I think in the middle that can be ignited. Um, so that's that. This thing's going to fall down when I do that. So uh, let's look at the intake side first. So the intake side doesn't really look like anything too special. Uh, pretty typical. Maybe there's some light in there. Pretty typical, you know, four valve, single port type stuff. Um, three intake ports, nothing special there. Here's where the VTEC solenoid uh, connects to. So it just uh, when you energize it, it just connects two of those ports. So one of them's oil pressure, and then. Uh, the other one uh, feeds the VTEC mechanism. <coughs> Here's where the fuel injectors uh, slot right into the head. They don't go in the intake manifold like some, some vehicles. <coughs> this is something we see a lot on newer cars. Is this single, single exhaust. single exhaust port like this. Um, this was probably one of Honda's first where they did this, maybe the first. Um, the idea is when you've got the exhaust running through the cylinder head that's got water jackets in it, you're going to uh, heat up the coolant quicker and you're going to spend less time uh, with a cold engine where you need the richer air fuel ratios. Uh, so it's kind of neat. Um, you can see the last guy I did a makeshift uh, gasket. I will point this out. Over. This thing had tons and tons of oil leaks, and part of it's because uh, when the guy put the swapped the engine, I think uh, he didn't replace any of the gaskets. But I think the main place the oil leak was coming from was this. This is a plastic cover, um, and it's got these little tangs here. That hold it in, and it's got an O-ring, which looks pretty tired to me. Um, so you can see a lot of a lot of leakage right down here under this plug. Um, well, it's kind of a neat little neat little cylinder head. <clears throat>